I got another litter on the ground. This is a VPI T positive junglo female that I crossed with a VPI T positive male. And she must have just dropped these because I checked on her about an hour ago and she hadn't uh, had them yet. And uh, she looks like she's pretty deflated, so pretty sure she's done. Probably gonna give her a little bit more time just to make sure, but you can see there's a pile of babies there. See some slugs also. There's the babies. I don't want to apologize for the bad lighting. I don't want to put too many bright lights in there. I just want to give her some space. I always feel bad about uh, taking the babies out, but uh, we'll just give her a little while to take care of the babies and come back. But they look like some really nice babies there. I see some of them moving around. Uh, sometimes the females can be a little defensive after they have babies, you know, for a good reason, of course, but I'm just going to give her a little bit more time before I take the babies out, maybe like half an hour or an hour. It's been about an hour. Just came back to check on her and she looks pretty much the same, so I'm pretty much certain that she's done with the litter. She was actually striking a little bit against the uh, front of the enclosure, so I'm just going to have to remove her and get her soaking. Give her a soak in some nice lukewarm water. Get her cleaned up, get that baby scent off of her. And in the meantime, I can check out the babies, but uh, she's moving around, so... And she really looks deflated, so I'm really confident that she's done with the litter. So I'm going to take her out, get her soaking, and we'll have a look at the babies. So there's the babies. Again, it's not real great lighting, but we'll get these guys out in a minute. Just want to take a quick look through the pile. I see we got some VPI, some what appears to be VPI junglos, maybe some sunglows as well. Maybe some albino VPIs. Let's see, here's some slugs. Looks like we got one stillborn. Here's a stillborn. And some babies. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move these guys into a sterilite tub and take a quick, better look at what, the, what we have here. I'm going to start with the downside, and I apologize if you're a little bit squeamish. I know this is kind of graphic, but this is the the downside of the litter. You can see we had some slugs there, unfertilized ova. Looks like there's seven of them. And then you can see we have a couple stillborns as well. They both appear to be VPI junglos. I mean, they have this really reduced pattern, and clearly jungle and hypo and albino. Um, not sure if that contributed to it. I mean, we always hear about um, supposed genetics and you know, supposed morphs don't have health issues. I'm not sure if that, it's just coincidence that both of the stillborns are VPI junglos. I'll show you the uh, living babies in a minute, but there's only one VPI junglo that survived. Um, incidentally, this is just my second morph litter ever, my second year breeding morphs, first VPI litter. And um, a little disappointed. I had big hopes based on how the female was looking, but uh, would have liked to have fewer slugs here. Um, and you know, the stillborns are always a bit of a heartbreak. These guys look like they hadn't fully developed. So, this uh, slugs and stillborns are going to end up in my garden to fertilize my tomato plants. But let's look at the ones that made it. So here's the surviving babies. We've got a total of six surviving babies. And just upon quick inspection, five of them to me appear to be VPIT positives with no hypo or jungle. And then we have one that's obviously a junglo. You can see that one on the bottom there. So if you just do a, like a Punnett square and predict the Mendelian ratios, we would expect from a VPI junglo times a VPI albino, you would get about 25% VPI albinos, 25% VPI sunglows, which includes the hypo as well as the VPI, 25% uh, VPI jungles, and then 25% junglos, which has both hypo and jungles. There you can see a VPI with a little bit of yolk attached to him, 
but the others look nice and fully formed and they're moving around look pretty healthy I guess my point is you know despite what you read online about uh, the genetics of these morphs a lot of them we don't fully understand and you know they seem to obey Mendelian genetics and things like that but there's always some morphs that are just I'm kind of scratching my head over and um, you know VPI and most albinos are pretty simple dominant recessive morphs but I just gotta wonder if there's a higher rate of embryonic lethality among animals or you know ova that are of a certain genotypes and for full disclosure i did breed together two visual vpit positives one was a straight albino the other was a junglo i've seen mixed advice about whether you should do that or not you know some people say it's okay to breed together two visual albinos some people claim you should never breed two visuals and you should just breed an albino with a hat or two hats but uh, not sure that the book is closed on that but uh, anyway or this could just be chance and uh, that I ended up with five out of six are VPI T positives anyway they're beautiful looking animals I love the VPI T positive I think it's one of the morphs that looks really nice just as a standalone morph so really excited about these guys and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put them on a heat pad set to about 90 degrees Give them a little bit of time to just chill out and relax and I'll come and change the paper towels later on tonight. I finished soaking the mother, got her cleaned up and she looks great. And I just put her back in her clean cage. One thing I just wanted to point out is how deflated she looks. She was really big with that litter and now she looks quite a bit thinner. But I actually was feeding her through the gestation so she doesn't look too thin. But uh, regardless, she'll get a nice, well-deserved meal tomorrow morning. And now I'm just going to put her cage accessories back in and let her rest and recover. She did really great. Okay, it's the end of the day. I just came to change the paper towels and take a look at these babies. And they all look like they're doing reasonably well moving around and quite curious. Um, you know, I thought at first I had one junglo, which you can see in the upper left-hand corner, and the rest were VPIs, but uh, I think that some of them might be VPI jungles, just based on their pattern and based on their side coloration. Like looking at this one here, its saddles are a little bit different, and the VPI T-positives normally have these kind of cool-looking saddles. They're a little bit differently shaped than a normal boa, but... Uh, these guys have, like this one, you can see the saddles are really quite uh, unusual, kind of jungly looking. The other giveaway is the color is a little bit lighter. And if you look at the side of the boa, there's this clear delineation between the top color and the side color, with the side color being darker than the top. And I'm pretty sure the one that we're looking at now is a VPI jungle. And I think one or two others might be as well, but it'll be easier to tell after they shed. I got these guys in a 56 quart Sterilite tub, the simple paper towel substrate. I'm going to put some more paper towels in there for them to hide under, give it a spray down, keep them nice and moist. I'll add a large water dish, probably not for drinking, but just to raise the humidity. And I have it on a heat pad just set to maintain about 90 degrees on about a third of the cage. And they'll just stay in here for the first week or so until they shed and then they'll go to their separate tubs but some nice looking babies beautiful vpi is one of my favorite genes and uh we'll just have to see how these babies do over the next few days anyway i hope you've enjoyed the video uh i'll keep you guys updated on how these guys are doing if you tune in to regular updates on this channel let me know if you have any questions or comments thanks for watching and enjoy your boas I just realized that uh, most of them were on the other side, so just a quick wide shot to show you the whole litter. See you in the next video.